Hello reviewers, this is Clockworks, welcome to a random uh, Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer commentary. This is not a live commentary, it is post-commentated. If you're curious as to why I've branched off from my live commentating style as per usual, it's because, well, if this was live commentated, you would hear all of my rage. <laughs> and but let's just say we can't be having that now, because there's probably a lot of rage. That aside for the minute. This is a manhunt game. I'm not maximum level, I think we're about level 40 at this stage. And for some reason, at the start of the game, their entire team decided to come for me alone. So, you know, shit happens. I kind of got boxed in there. It was my fault for running the wrong way, but you know, that's how it goes. I'm using Morph and uh, Bodyguard, but I might switch up my set a few times. I have two sets for manhunt. Morph and Bodyguard with knives and smoke bomb and trick mine for the other set but uh, I, I've, I've got a few other sets as well but I can't remember them off by heart right now so if you see me switching a few times just try and take note of the set you can see it in the bottom left now this is a public game you know there's no I don't know anyone in this game no one knows anyone so it's all fair and balanced and you know how terrible public players are so that being said, I'm not so good myself. Oh, you. Yeah. As I was saying, I'm not so good myself nowadays because I haven't played Revelations for a, well, a really, really long time. Let's just say that since my last Revelations video, I haven't actually played that game. So that's a long time ago. So when Assassin's Creed, Cre when Assassin's Creed, ah, hold on. When Assassin's Creed 3 came out, I obviously wasn't as good as I used to be. A little trick there for people that don't know it, if you equip Bodyguard and then if you lock an NPC, the Bodyguard will stun that NPC. It's a nice little trick. Lots of people will fall for it. In fact, I fall for it as well. Because, I mean, you just can't take the chance, can you? What if it was a player and he accidentally stunned an NPC? What are you going to do? Thankfully, when someone uses a bodyguard, it gives us it gives off this really obvious noise. So, if you listen carefully, you can hear it. But yeah, nice little trick there, just in case you didn't know it. Bodyguards lock onto an NPC or a player, and they will go and stun them. I don't think you can stun your teammates. Ah. As you can see in this game, there's a lot of people who are just running around, getting 100 point kills, so it makes it really difficult to um, be stealthy because they just spot you and run straight up to you, and without a smoke bomb, it, you know, I can't really defend myself all that well. I mean, Bodyguard has its uses, but people can usually barrel straight past that and uh, go straight for you. Now, for my Assassin's Creed 3 videos, I'm probably going to make around 10 of them. The games will be random videos, uh, they won't always be ones that I do super well in. Uh, I try to go for entertainment value over high points uh, videos, but well, well, we'll find out. Also, not all of them will be commentated. Uh, this guy here, I should have thrown a knife at. I'm still not used to having a third, a third item. Because I never really used knives all that much back in Revelations and Brotherhood, so using them, ha having an extra slot is a bit, a bit strange. It takes some getting used to. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing because now everyone has knives, guns, or fucking poison dart. And it just feels, it just feels like you can't escape sometimes, you know? Like uh, you smoke bomb someone, you punch him in the face, and then you run away, but you're just gonna get. Someone's just going to throw a knife at you like a second later and you can't run away to hide somewhere else. I can understand its uses, but... Uh, I'm still not sure whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. As you can see, that's still a problem in the game. I was clearly through that chase breaker, but he... Uh, Oh, teleport assassinated through the doors and uh, killed me. Is 
I'm not the best at... Well, in this video, as an example, I'm not, I wasn't really very good at uh, the old uh, defense round. But I make up for it in the attacking round. Why? Because Disguise and Poison is back at its best. And you really can't beat Disguise Poison on Manhunt attacking round. Hunting round, rather. It's just that damn good. As you're about to find out. I do screw up with my lock a few times because I haven't played, like I said, I haven't played Revelations for so long or Brotherhood, so my target acquisition skills, I suppose you could call them, basically picking a target out of a blender group is not as good as they used to be, like here for example. That's a decoy. Yeah, I kind of locked a decoy, my bad. But thankfully, they don't know who I am, so. There's one poison. I make a mistake here and pick this guy up right in plain sight. But, oh well. Another mistake as well, I should have run up the building and then aerial killed him. Double multi kill. I don't know what he's doing. Crazy person. You have been stunned. Hmm. Someone just, I didn't, I didn't notice this in the game, but it's very obvious in the video, but someone actually spawned right in front of me just there. If you didn't notice it, replay the video a few seconds and you'll see. He spawned right in front of us and then ran through the chase breaker. I didn't actually catch that in game because I was so focused on that guy who was on, in the distance. But, I mean, to have him spawn right in front of three of his hunters, that's not exactly very fair, is it? A little, little bit of uh, line of sight targeting here. Thankfully, the old line of sight tricks still work. There was that sound. Did you hear that sound? That was the sound of bodyguard being used. It's very obvious once you get used to it. The correct choice that guy should have done was to throw knives at me if he has them. If he didn't have knives, he was screwed either way, but uh, yeah, knives was the correct thing to do there. There's no more mute in this game, so he can't really do anything. There's no more mute smoke bomb tricks, guys. There's a very specific reason I killed this guy quickly. I can't trust public players to let me build up my school counter. Meaning I did want to get an incognito and hidden, but uh, that would have required staying in the hay bale for a few seconds longer. And to be honest, I can't really trust one of those guys to not kill my locked target instantly. It was that guy, but I changed my lock for some reason. I don't know why, I, it was actually the correct person, I kind of screwed up. As you can see, I'm out of practice. Your team has lost the lead. Your team has taken the lead. Thankfully though, because I have knives, Mr. Roof Monkey up here is about to go splat. Straight onto his face. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, ne I never get tired of seeing that. Fall straight on his face onto fucking uh, concrete. It's got to hurt. See, because there are no teammates around, I can take my time and uh, I'll just build up my school counter. Once that guy saw me on the roof, he should have bailed right away. So, the game modes you'll mostly be seeing from me are Wanted, Manhunt, maybe some Domination and Artifact Assault. Probably no deathmatch and probably no assassinate. That was a decoy. 
Oh, we like this kill. Watch this. I'll explain my reasons for. Uh... You have been stunned. <laughs> yeah, like I can. I'll, I'll explain my reasons for not doing assassinate or deathmatch games uh, videos in probably the next video because I'm, I've run out of time. But uh, thank you for watching. I uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. This is Clockworks, and uh, look forward to more random one. Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer commentaries. I might do live commentaries in the future, but usually I'm playing with some people and their voices would be picked up if I did that, so uh, I'll have to uh, think about if I want to do that or not. There's a nice 10,000 point game for you. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.